welcome to Lucas Oil Speedway qualifying underway for the KVRP.com Sprint Car Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. You see the 51 Brad Wilson on track. Now the 77 Clayton King cart, the Shenandoah Shine teammates there. Elston, first one to set a lap time, jumps up to the top. Brad Wilson takes it away right away. King cart up to second. Quinn Newton grabs third. Six cars of the nine to put a lap down. See the track states reset from practice, so drivers have much more grip. Wilson's second lap quicker, bumps it to a 12.71. Wilson stays on pole, King Card second, Newton third, Scott Elson in fourth. And Nathan Lafayette fifth. Swicegood currently sixth. Lucas Hoyt's my head now for his first lap. Currently on his warm up. Twelve point nine for Hoitzman goes up to third. Lap two a little bit slower. Hoitzman will stay fourth. Nagel jumps up to sixth on his first lap. This is the last lap that will count. few hundred slower for lap two, so Nabel will stay sixth, and that is it for qualifying. Everyone's put in their laps, now they're just out there practicing. Wilson on track getting some extra laps in on a track that has a little bit more grip than what they were dealing with at the end of practice. I believe Hoyts will stay out there quite a while too. Let's go chat with Blake Giglio in the 16. Hopefully he's hanging around. He is. Blake, DG, you got a copy? Oh, hello? Surprise. Hey. Hi. Well, you got a poll here, and you got two minutes to talk about it. How are you going to trash talk Daniel when he's not even here? Uh, that's what I was saying. I said we might make some green flag racing, and Daniel ain't here. <laughs> I didn't have time to finish. All right, so what are your thoughts on this Lucas Oil or Aceway? It's fun. It's one of the most challenging tracks, I think, that they offer, so it should be a good race. And challenging how? What makes it challenging? Well, the wall isn't the wall. Um, can't, you can't really run on the top. There's kind of like a Lernerville cushion kind of where you can't go over it or you're going to crash. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the corners are sharp, also different. So it's going to be an interesting race to see at least. It's hand four. And if you're not winning it, who do you think is going to win it? I think Bradley's pretty good. Um, Lucas, when he gets to practice here in the heat race, will be pretty good. I... I'd say probably the whole field is shot to win this race. <laughs> that wide open, huh? No, it's actually not wide open, but I think that it's just, it's so technical. There's going to be so many mistakes that it, stuff happens like crazy. Well, I didn't mean wide open on a throttle. It just meant the field's wide open because everyone has a shot. All right. Now I look dumb, but <laughs> it works. Hey, you got a pro dirt license, not me. Well, sometimes. Like, not anymore. Not anymore. We'll get it next year again. We got like 18th. Something mm. like that, so. Well, I have to go get it again. Yep, yeah, should, should be all right. Tam four. Well, you got 30 seconds. What do you got left to tell me? Um, we're gonna go fast and turn left. We're gonna see. So I got to tell you. At least you didn't go Mike Edwards on that. <laughs> yeah. I was right. thinking about it, but on my line to tell. Good luck in your heat race. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Blake Giglio, giving us a chat while we watch Damon Nagel racing around in the 86, getting some extra laps of practice in, with the track being a little more tacky now. Final few seconds are going to tick off here. Giglio is going to be your pole sitter for the heat race. It'll be one heat race. Determine the starting lineup for the main event. Eight lap heat, I do believe. Let's have a good race. Let's have a good race. <laughs> Yeah, all cars one la eight lap heat race here. 
burn through the starting lineup once everybody gets out on track. About half the guys are out. Front row is going to be Blake Giglio in the 16. Alongside Brad Wilson, who won the last two races. Here he is on the front row for Heat Race. Clayton Kingcart starts third alongside Lucas Hoytsman. We're used to seeing 7-7-7 seven, seven, and seven on the front row. They're on row number two this time. Quinn Newton lines up fifth in the 88. Damon Nagel, the 86, starts in the sixth spot. Scott Elson, the 85, lines up seventh. Nathan Lafayette will start eighth. And Swicegood, back of the field in ninth for this eight-lap heat race. From Lucas Oil Speedway. Get your picks in now, chat. Who do you think is going to win the heat? Green, green later. True for every Sidewinder series. <laughs> Just watching the base truck launch over the hill, that was awesome. Rolling two by two through three and four, waiting for the green flag. Green, 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 greens in the air. We are underway in our heat race. Determine the lineup for our main event tonight. Giglio and Wilson battle for the lead. Wilson's going to get that momentum up high as Nagel goes around. Caution comes out on lap number one. Nagel. Unable to hang on to the 86, he'll go to the back of the field. Sorry, I couldn't get slowed in time for you there. I wasn't expecting a spin. There! <laughs> what up, buddy? Let's go back and watch what happens to the 86. Yeah, Quinn, you're all good. I got a gas to make sure I didn't hit nobody and it just whipped around. Back into the fence there, then. Drives it away, no harm, no foul. Just backed it into the fence a little bit. <laughs> what happens here? Clayton Kinkar, what happened to Clayton? Oh, he starts to spin in front of Newton. And Newton gets in the back of him. Lafayette gets in a Newton. So a second accident after the yellow. <laughs> Unfortunate for all these guys. Kinkar, Newton, Lafayette getting collected. It's only the heat race, so get all these bugs out now by the time we get to the main event. Should be good to go. Pace truck has run away as we go through one and two. Such an odd spot for the pit road. Pits are outside of turns one and two, so the pace truck disappears in turn one. We got one lap in. Giglio has decided to go right in the exit of turn four. No jump out to a lead. Top four separate themselves from the rest of the field. Nagel a little out of shape. He's down low on the inside there. Swice could go to the outside. Thanks, Scott. I got a four there. Giglio leads. Wilson second. Kinkart. Hoitzman. He's top four. Map Watch the top four oh, racing. Looks like Elston got a little out of shape. 85 car tracks this machine just dropping to the back. Scott Elston to the rear of the field. Halfway through the heat. Giglio still leads. Wilson, Kinkart, and Hoytsman. Top four remain the same. Quinn Newton up to fifth. So we watch the top four. Hoytsman trying to find his way around Kinkart. Tightest battle on track here. White flags in the air. 
like the field's got in single file and we're going to run it. As we are now, Blake Giglio going to get the win in the heat race. Wilson second. Kinkart, Hoitzman, Newton, your top five. Then Schweissgood, Nagel, Lafayette, and Elston. That's how they will line up for the main event. You get a two minute warm up here. Try to get some grooves worn into the track before we start the race, but two minute warm up now. And because it does close really quick here, if you get a close pitch, it's probably not up there. So I'm not going to wait for that. close extremely Blake! Hi. Hi. Well, you got yourself a heat win there. How is it? Uh, what's it going to take to get yourself a uh, feature win tonight? Some of the same things right there, I think. Uh, and point track position is going to be huge. Uh, avoiding the wrecks. And if we go green, just getting around lap cars clean. The big top three. Back you, there. Do you think a second groove will come in by the end of the race? Right, no, uh, yeah, as soon as we wear this out a little bit here. I'm going to try to wear the middle out so we can get some bottom and top action. But as soon as we can get that figured out, we'll be all right. Team four, good luck in the main. You didn't even try to sell it. I'd be like, man, I got first place. I'm, I'm beating by a whole second. <laughs> Unfortunately, me taking that trip with it was not bad. I was not bad. Uh... Dirt. Final 30 seconds ticking off of our heat race here as <laughs> Newton misses his teammate. <laughs> CCC boys always know how to have fun. And that'll do it for our warm up. Track state will be staying like this. We go start our main event. There goes Hoitzman. Here we go. Headed to the main. Cars form up on the grid. Then we'll run through our starting lineup. Waiting on one more. Hey, antivirus, get out of here. <laughs> there we go, fields formed up. Starting lineup presented by our friends at Labor 12. Check them out on any spot that you get music Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever. Labor 12, XII. Yeah, Blake Giglio on the pole in the 16th, starting alongside Brad Wilson, Shenandoah Shine 51. Clayton Kinkart, Shenandoah Shine teammate in the 77, starts third, Lucas Hoisman. Low Drag Esports Machine starts in the fourth spot. Zach Spice go to Low Drag Esports K1 Speed Car starts in fifth. Damon Nagel, the Trevor Project 86, starts in sixth. Nathan Lafayette, Penguin Brand Coffee starts in the seventh position. Scott Elson, the Traxxas Machine starts in eighth. Quinn Newton, the CTC BGR Low Drag Car starts in ninth position. That is all nine starters for tonight's race. Smaller field, I guess, because it's a newer track. Not a lot of people own it yet. Means lots of points up for grabs and should be a pretty wide open race. Feel us wait for the green flag on the initial start. And there it is, green flag in the air. Thirty laps. Thirty laps to figure out. Who's going to win our main event tonight? Oh my gosh. Things are disappearing. Caution's out. What is happening? Lucas Hoisman. Seven car. Looks like King Cart and Hoisman make contact not long after the green flag flies. Keep an eye on that second row. Right there. Hoisman's left front gets up on King Cart's right rear. And Hoisman 
headed to pit road there. So very quickly we end up under our first caution. That could have gone better on that side. Lucas, I'm not, I don't know if I came up or what happened there. Oh, I don't know. It's all good. Yeah, as long as you know it wasn't intentional. Oh, no, definitely not. That was tempting down a little bit. It's not me. I wish it wasn't intentional. I'm sure it was <laughs> Stay left. <laughs> Do the 24 slider. Oh no. <laughs> that headache is gone, thank goodness. Alright, so we'll get single file here and try to do it again. Of course, we're in one and two, so we have to go all the way around here. I wonder if technically by the rules Giglio could go as soon as the pace truck's off. Man, that'd be funny to watch. There we go. Giglio back on the accelerator. We're back to green. Unfortunately, it looks like yellow flag laps are not counting in the main, but fortunately, smaller car count. We should get this done pretty quick. Blake out front, Wilson second, Kinkart is third, Schweissgood in fourth, Nagel fifth, Lafayette sixth, Newton seventh, Elson eighth, and Hoitzma bringing up the rear right now. Blake starts lap number five, Wilson trying to keep him in contact here, speaking on Nagel and Swice good battle for Ford. Keep it here for a little bit. Behind them, Lafayette and Newton also battling. Newton trying to go around the outside, going to get it done too. Newton up into sixth position, gets by Nathan Lafayette. Back to this battle. Things spaced out up front a bit. on the gaps right now. This is the most entertaining battle we have. Nagel, Swice good, Swice in fourth, Nagel in fifth. Giglio about a second over Wilson who has about a second over King Kart. Swice good and Nagel right on top of each other. Battle for fourth. Oh, let's go get close. Light contact. Nagel gets into Swice Good. They both get the cars going in the correct direction. And they'll regather themselves and go back to battling. Still a second between first, second, third. I'm trying to see where Nagel is going to try and set up a pass here. Giglio say track position is very prime here. Nagel got a little too much rotation early on there. He's going to fall back a bit. Giglio still leading as we come to start lap 15. Right about there. And the start finish line's hard to see here. <laughs> He's gaining on Elston and Lafayette in 8th and 9th. Back part of the field getting caught here. Elston keeps it down out of the way as he goes a lap down. Reached halfway. Now Giglio catching Lafayette. Lafayette not getting out of the way. Giglio going to try to turn it down low and get underneath them on exit. Gets it done. Giglio has a car between himself and Wilson. Wilson one and a half seconds back in second. Then you have Kinkart in third. Sky Elson's gone around in the 85. Caution. Second caution of the race comes out. 
Don't be setting up time to get like there, probably. Looks like he was trying to get down and out of the wave, it's spun it out. Just let me Payshark nearly hits Brad Wilson as he comes off fit road. <laughs> Hoistman in the seven hit pit road. I got one. Fast repair for the seven gets his wing fixed. Thank you. Lafayette and Elston both posted as a lap down. Blake Giglio leads over Wilson, Kinkart, Schweissgut, and Nagel. Then they see DC teammates of Newton and Hoitzma. Pit road location throwing some wrenches into the plans here. They're now one to green. I'm going to stay low because I don't know why it is dropping to the end. Edward. Elston going to let lead lap car of Hoitzma through. Giglio leads us through three and four, turns it sharp left and hits the accelerator. Gets a straight drive to the start finish line, gets a nice gap. Kinkart and Wilson, Shenandoah Shine teammates two and three. They're going to be able to put on a battle here. Wilson just can't get it car to hook up. Or, excuse me, King Cart couldn't get it to hook up off the corner. It's going to allow Wilson to step away. Quinn Newton all over the back of half the field CTC. Pretty close. I mean, we can't have four and a half cars, but pretty close. <laughs> Great battling here from third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Oh, now the caution is back out. Why? We're having good racing. <laughs> Elson, 85, goes around again. Struggle for the series manager tonight. Been a struggle. I haven't really seen a second groove come in like Giglio thought it would. can see where it's worn out some, but it's not enough yet to produce that multi-groove racing. Blake! Hi. Hi. <laughs> I've been talking to you all night. It's been fun. But um, let's see. You're out front. It's seven laps just to go. How do you feel about uh, holding off the 51 back there? Is that second groove coming in, or you think you got it? Ah, uh, you know, like I said, it's just so technical. I don't really, like, it's changing every lap. I think I think it might be still two grooves. I'm just going to keep running my safe groove, and if he passes me, then we'll worry about where he passed me at and try to pass him back. 10-4 sounds like a plan. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Blake Iglio in the 16, out in front. John T. Garrett, uh-huh. 34 months, what a beast. Thank you, Mr. John. Been having fun watching you. I watched you at Phoenix. I know I didn't get to see a whole lot of you, but I'll just keep a track of you on the scoreboard. <laughs> Giglio gets his restarted. Jumps out to the start-finish line, gets a quick lead here with six to go. Wilson in second. Kinkart, not a great restart. And Nagel has twice good all over the back of him. Lucas Hoistman trying to go around the outside. Quinn Newton gets into him. Newton goes up and into the fence. I don't know if Newton knew they were three wide, but we have a pile up right at the start finish line. And there is the caution. A little late, but it came. There you see the leaders catching up to the back of the pack. Let's go back and watch Quinn Newton there. Lack of fuel, yeah. Oh, gets up into twice good. The teammates make contact and then collect the double zero of Nathan Lafayette.
Let's see. Swice is in the middle. Hoistma goes way up to the top, and I think Swice doesn't know he's clear. Didn't know he could go up, so him and Newton make contact in the middle. That'll be a couple fast repairs for sure. Pretty solid contact. Well, my car is destroyed. I need a black dude here in a minute. Twice good. Quinn Newton both hit pit road. I got the OL. Twice one wants to go to the back after his car has been damaged. You see the wing is significantly damaged on that seven car. Hop in the pit and I'll clear your block. I don't have a button for the OL. How did the seven get so damaged? <laughs> what? Oh, he gets the uh, rear tire of Nagel and then shoots into the wall. Separate from the other in incident. If Yikes. you make me admin, I can do a clear all. I got a button for you for that. Uh, I fell off the track of the pits, but I think I'm okay. I have four to go when we get this restarted. That should give everybody a clearance to add something. He's driving through them all with the lights out. <laughs> Pace truck jumps off again. Giglio turns it down the hill, accelerates back underway. KVRP.com Sprint Car Series. Giglio out of shape. That's going to allow Wilson to get to the outside and get by him. Giglio, uncharacteristic mistake there. A little too low. Got out of shape. Too much rotation. Now he's up into the fence. Bradley Wilson takes the point. Clayton Kingcart is going to get through for a second, I believe. Giglio just left the track. <laughs> Giglio all F4s after going out of the wall. Yikes. Howdy, Dan. So Wilson takes over the lead. 1.1 second gap over Kinkart. A couple Shenandoah Shine teammates, one and two. Damon Nagel up into the top three. Quinn Newton rides fourth. Swice Goods fifth. And Lafayette and Elston rounding out the field as Hoitzman and Giglio have both crash out of this one. And the caution weighs with one lap to go. Oh no. Here it is. Swice in the 24. Yeah, I broke at the top. I don't want to pull down the line. Swice toes out, but the caution comes out anyway. Now Wilson going to have to hold off his teammate. What appears to be a one lap shootout, but I think it'll go to two. We'll see. We'll see what it does. All right, Jack, get your predictions. 51 or 77? Or somebody completely different. Who knows? I don't think the Shine guys would wreck each other, but weirder things have happened. Wilson's won the last two. King Kart last season's champion. Find themselves first and second here. <laughs> nice, William. Wilson gets us going out of three. Gets on the accelerator, takes off in the 51. King Kart in second. Newton trying to get a slide there on Nagel as the white flag comes out. Wilson, big slide of the 51, but he'll stay in the lead and take the checkered flag. Brad Wilson in the 51 wins the KVRP.com sprint car race here. Clayton Kinkart will finish second. Damon, Damon Nagel, your top three.
if we get the top three to All the right, interview top three room. Of, uh, waiting room for your interviews. Thank you all for coming out, and we will see you next week. Your There is Wilson in the waiting room, waiting on King Cart and Nagel. There's King Cart, now just Nagel. <laughs> About to ask Scott where Damon is. Scott! Hey, what's up? Where's Damon? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, it's like he doesn't want his interview. <laughs> there he is. Okay, bye! All right, bye. Damon, DG up in the booth. You got a copy? Hey, how's it going? It is going pretty good. You bring it home in the third position tonight. Strong run for the 86 car. How does it feel out there? Uh, I hate this track with a passion. And yet you finished <laughs> um, third. It gets real. I, it got real slick for me. I thought I, I thought Quinn was going to get me on that last restart. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't find no grip either, though. He got underneath you, but he just couldn't <laughs> do anything with it. <laughs> It seems like a pretty pretty uh, tough track. Even Giglio was saying this is a pretty technical track. Yeah, I just bought the track last week, so I only had like 15 minutes of practice on it when I got in today. So Beautiful. I, I don't know. I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, it's good to throw a challenge and a curveball out there every once in a while. Congrats on the third place finish. You got the friends, family, and sponsor shoutouts for us tonight. Thanks. Uh, just uh, Trevor Project, just something that's uh, close to my heart to support. That's about it. And thanks for doing this every week. Tan four, we appreciate you. Thanks for helping Scott put this on. We have a lot of fun with it. No problem. Have a good one. Damon Nagel brings it home in the third position. Let's go get Mr. Clayton King Cart Clayton DG in the booth. You got a copy? Yep. Well, it looked like uh, Brad just got that really good start there on the restart, and you just couldn't do much with him. Uh, what did you maybe need to try and get that victory tonight? A whole lot, a whole lot of more practice. We I just bought the track this afternoon, so this was kind of a a trial run for us. He bought it this morning. I bought it this afternoon. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> trial by fire. Yeah, and you first and second with it. So, yeah, <laughs> maybe there's something to it. Not sure what happened to Blake there towards the towards the end. I think he cl clipped one of those tires on the bottom from what I could tell. But uh, kind of like Charlotte, you, you live a dangerous game by getting as close to those tires as you can. Yeah, when you go over the line, you end up going out of the track. <laughs> You got those uh, friends and family sponsor shoutouts for us tonight. Uh, Cave RP for putting us on and, and, and putting us up here every week. You for broadcasting. Uh, thanks. It's always fun to go back and watch these races, uh, you know, the day after. And uh, all those guys at Shenandoah Shine turning wrenches, getting the car here every week. And, and uh, Brad for, for helping put practice in and get the, get the track figured out a little bit better. Tim Ford, congrats on the second place finish tonight. We'll see you next week. Sounds good. Thank you. Clayton Kingcart brings it home second. Now we'll go get the man of the hour. Mr. Brad Wilson bringing home the victory tonight. I heard you bought the track today. Yes, sir. I did. I figured I should probably get some practice, but then got caught up at school, so I didn't really get any. But <laughs> Whoops. Really lucked into that one. Yeah, seems like uh, practice not needed. <laughs> you went ahead and got the victory anyway, and uh, Clayton said he bought the track today too, and you both finished one too. So maybe there's something to that strategy. We'll just come in late to these races and see what we got. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's hard to overthink and overcomplicate a track if you just bought it today. Exactly. Exactly. I like this strategy. All right. <laughs> Hit me with those friends, family, sponsor shout outs. Uh, just my teammate Clayton. He gave me some tips and tricks that he learned when he was in the practice about 20 minutes before me. Got to thank Chando Shine, Cave RP for sponsoring this, you for broadcasting. It's been a blast. And thanks to Blake for, I guess, making that one mistake that I needed to get around him. <laughs> Easy enough. All right, bud. Congrats on the strong run tonight in that 51 Chando Shine machine. Appreciate you coming out every week. Three in a row for you. What, 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 you'll beat us next week, too. What do you got? I'm not even too sure where we are next week, but I'm going to bring everything I have for it. All right, but congrats on the three in a row, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thank you.
Brad Wilson getting the victory tonight in the 51 Shenandoah Shine car there. 1-2 for the Shenandoah Shine team. Appreciate everybody that comes out and helps us uh, put on these races and supports us and races with us and all that kind of stuff. Uh, thank you so much to KVRP for sponsoring tonight's race. Let's go ahead and look at our final results. Only going to be one page tonight. Small field with this newer track that a lot of people don't have yet. And here we go. Wilson, Kingcart, Nagel, Newton, Lafayette pick up top fives. Elston, Swicegood, and then... Giglio and Hoisman, three CTC cars at the back of the field after all suffering crashes in the middle of the race. Quinn Newton, the sole survivor of the team, finishing fourth tonight. All right, that'll do it from Lucas Oil Speedway here. Appreciate you guys coming to check out our dirt race, and we will see you guys in the next one.